Really, the situation is, is very difficult because a number of people try to penetrate. So, according to the data I have for this morning, uh, it was 500 people, 500,000 people who already crossed the border. Some of them are going some, some to the relatives or their places, but majority of them are looking for the place as refugees and uh, our neighboring countries are assisting us. So the, the biggest problem is now the long queue because, uh, first of all, we have a martial law which does not allow men to leave the country. So they, they should go to, to the armed forces. Second issue is about the long queues and the capabilities of the border crossing points, which actually does not allow to cross a huge majority of people. So that's the biggest challenge. And uh, we have also assistance from AFAD for these people. Uh, and uh, mobile groups are assisting uh, to ordinary Ukrainians, for example, in Chernovtsi region, very close to Romania. And other also uh, assisting them. So uh, on the other side, I mean, in neighboring countries, they have good shelter and good treatment. And we are very grateful for all this support we received from our neighbors and from other, uh, from other countries who are sending them. Majority big cities are still under Ukrainian control, and I believe they will be in the control. We're an independent state, and we're defending ourselves. And Kiev is the key point we're holding. And we continue to hold it despite never all the losses and all the destroyment. So Russia will not keep it and or we will defend it to the end. From Saturday, we are open for receiving this humanitarian assistance. And, you know, embassy is not working properly in, mm -hmm. in natural land, but just packing this, uh, this humanitarian assistance and sending it to Ukraine. So we already uh, launched maybe two or three tracks, big tracks, and, and it's continued to, to be collected. So, and we are very grateful for every Turkish citizen who assists us. It's also Ukrainian community, foreign diplomats.